everyone. Welcome back to Learn With Morale. We're about to embark on a super duper detective adventure, unraveling the mystery of the missing lunch and the role of food webs in it. So buckle up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting explorations. Ever wondered how animals get their energy? Let's think of it as a game of pass the parcel, but instead of presents, we're passing food. The game starts with our sunshine chefs, also known as plants. They whip up a sunny feast using sunlight, water, and a pinch of carbon dioxide. Next, it's the herbivores turn to play. Creatures like caterpillars chomp down on these green delights, absorbing the energy stored within. Then, who's next in line to receive this tasty parcel? Right you are, it's the birds. They swoop down and gobble up the caterpillars, taking the energy for themselves. This passing of energy from plants to herbivores to carnivores is what we call a food chain. It's a fascinating journey that shows us how energy flows from one creature to another. So the next time you see a bird enjoying its caterpillar lunch, remember, they're just playing a round of nature's past the parcel. But hold on, this isn't just a one-way street. In the wild, things can get as tangled as a bowl of spaghetti. Let's imagine a zesty zebra grazing on fresh grass. This striped snack could be a meal for a lurking lion, a hungry hyena, or even a crafty crocodile. This is the magic of food webs. Unlike a simple food chain, a food web shows all the crisscrossing connections between different species and who feasts on whom. It's a bit like a giant spider web. But instead of sticky threads, it's brimming with munching mouths. And instead of a spider in the middle, there are arrows darting in every direction. These arrows aren't pointing to danger, though. They're showing us the way energy travels from one critter to another, from one bite to the next. But what happens when the party's over, and an animal, like our zebra friend, takes a dirt nap? Well, in nature's grand scheme, the story doesn't end there. This is where decomposers, the unsung heroes of the ecosystem, take center stage. Decomposers, like bacteria and fungi, are nature's cleanup crew. They swoop in and start breaking down dead plants and animals into smaller pieces. Think of them as the tiny chefs cooking up a nutrient-rich feast out of what others might call waste. These nutrients then seep back into the soil, serving up a delicious buffet for plants to feast upon. This process, which we call nutrient recycling, is absolutely essential to keep the ecosystem thriving. Without decomposers, the world would be piled high with dead things. Yikes! But thanks to these tiny powerhouses, life continues in a beautiful cycle, with each death nourishing new life. It's like a recycling factory, keeping the whole ecosystem healthy and happy. So, food webs are like invisible maps showing how every living thing is connected, from the tiniest bug to the mighty lion. They're the lifeblood of our planet, weaving together all living creatures in a delicate dance of eat and be eaten. It's a constant reminder that we're all part of a grand interconnected team, from the smallest ant to the most gigantic whale. Now, for some fun facts to impress your friends with, did you know that the world's longest food chain has 19 steps? Imagine a tiny shrimp at the bottom, eventually leading up to a giant majestic eagle at the top. That's a lot of lunching. And here's another cool tidbit. Some plants aren't just lunch, they're lunch eaters too. Venus flytraps and pitcher plants lure unsuspecting bugs with sweet smells only to snap them up for a quick protein snack. Now, that's a twist in the food web. Talk about a plant with a bite. Wow, the world of food webs is pretty amazing, right? It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle where every piece, from the smallest bug to the mighty lion, fits together in a perfect balance. We've learned that energy flows from one creature to another, and that even when the game ends, Nature's little superheroes, the decomposers, step in to keep the cycle going. Thanks for unraveling this tasty mystery with me. Keep being curious. And see you next time for more mind-blowing science fun.